start from well you could start by saying that we were the smallest group on the left by far and then in the, in the space of about 10 15 years we became the most successful trotsky's organization since the creation of the left opposition Unfortunately, that was thrown away by uh, the majority uh, leadership, who, uh, who uh, the success went to their heads, shall we say. Uh, but if you were to, if you were a betting man, if you're a betting person, you surely wouldn't have we'll carry on. You surely wouldn't have bet on militant to become the biggest uh, force. That's for sure in 1964. But, but what it showed really was the, the, the fact that we had correct ideas and the correct perspective. We were at the right uh, place at the right time with the right ideas. Of course, in, in the Labour Party at this time, 1964, 65, 66, it wasn't a, a very good time, really. The Labour government was in, was in power and it was carrying out uh, counter reforms. There were two other uh, groups in the Labour Party at that time, the, the Heliites, the Socialist Labour League. And uh, the Cliff Group, the International Socialists. And um, the uh, young socialist, the youth section of the Labour Party was, uh, was, was wrecked by the uh, Socialist Labour League. They left the party and so did the, the, uh, the Cliff Group as well. They left as well, the Labour Party. And by 1969, it was a very bad atmosphere. Even some uh, miners' uh, branches were threatening to um, disaffiliate from the Labour Party because of the policies of, of the government. And our, our, our enemies uh, used to joke about us being the Labour Party. Used to make the, uh, the sexist comment. Uh, who was in the Labour Party? Old women of both sexes and young men selling militant. Uh, but it wasn't far from the truth, uh, really, was it? Five minutes gone. But uh, what we did uh, do was to concentrate on the youth. That was the key question for the building of the tendency.
And we did patient work in the Labour Party Young Socialists, rebuilding it from scratch. Uh, work was, be, I mean, the number of uh, branches we had uh, in, at that time was one in London, one in uh, Merseyside and one in Swansea. And there was work, uh, pioneering work done then in, in Sussex, in Sussex University by, uh, by Alan. But it was using the banner of the, of the Labour Party Young Socialists that we really made headway in the 1970s. But there'd been a big change in the objective situation. There's a, a radicalization, not only in Britain, but uh, in, in Europe as well, you know, for, you know in, in Spain, in Portugal, and in Greece, and so on. And the, and the left were building in the Labour Party again under Tony Benn, they were rising. A militant uh, arose with, with the general left uh, uh, in, in the Labour Party and the trade unions in Britain. By the mid 1970s, we were holding young socialist conferences of a thousand or more people. By 1976, we had uh, got up to a thousand comrades. By 1980, we had 2,000 comrades. So we, we, this is how we, we, we built, mainly from the youth. But we also built up in the Labour Party. We had quite big delegations at the Labour Party conference. And we began to build in the trade unions as well. The witch hunt against militant began in 1976. That's when it began. But it didn't uh, um, dissuade us. On the contrary, we, we turned it, turned it, turned it against them. And by uh, the early 1980s, uh, we were very well established in the Labour Party, developing in the unions. And as a result, the, the, the bourgeoisie in Britain were terrified. They were worried that we were putting backbone in the left. And they would, they would a huge uh, witch hunt to, to get us out of the Labour Party, to get us expelled. It was a big, camp, big campaign in the newspapers every day, on the television, in the radio, attacking militant, militant, get them out. They were infiltrators. And we took advantage of this by holding uh, meetings all around the country and they were, they were drawing a thousand people, 1,500 people who attended uh, meetings in big cities all around the country to hear what militants stood for.
in Liverpool, we established a very strong base because of years of work in the Labour Party. And we won a number of won a number of councillors in Liverpool, and in effect, began to uh, decide the policy given through the broad left of the Labour Party in Liverpool. Ten minutes. In effect, we we led Liverpool City Council in confrontation with the Tory government. At the same time, we won uh, uh, parliamentary positions. Um, Terry Fields in uh, Liverpool, Ball Green, and Dave Nellist in Coventry Southeast. Uh, Pat Wall was to win his seat. Was when he's going to win his seat in 1987. So we we'd have three MPs in Parliament by then. It was a time also of the miners' strike in 1984-1985, where we intervened all over the uh, coal fields. We run, run 500 uh, miners to the organisation. And then in 1988, 1989, we waged this big battle over the poll tax in which we mobilized something in the order of between 14 and 18 million people. By 1988, you had 8,000 uh, comrades. We become a household name. Everybody knew us, you know, on the television and in the newspapers, everywhere. Everybody knew militant. But the whole basis of the organization was, was Ted's leadership and his, his theoretical guidance of the organization. But they were always in the in the leadership, particularly down the Peter Taff, who, who had big ideas, you know, grand ideas. Of course, it was getting difficult in the Labour Party. You had the, the witch hunt against us and, and Neil Kinnock uh, attacking us, the Labour Party conference and all that, and expulsions were taking place. But the majority leadership in the world started to draw ultra left uh, ideas. They, they lost a sense of proportion. That was the main thing. And this was accompanied really by. Um, a watering down of the political and theoretical level of the membership, to be honest about it. 15 minutes. Theory was just a, 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 a little extra now, you know, it wasn't central to the organization as, as it had been. Now it was activism, activism and activism became the, the dominant theme.
and uh, in 19, 1991, we had uh, the, the, the Walton by-election in Liverpool. And uh, the majority leadership wanted to stand a candidate against the Labour Party, and uh, we argued against that. Uh, and, and as a result, the, the real Labour vote, uh, candidate got 2,600 votes, and it was big boasting. This is a victory for socialism, 2,600 votes for socialism. And, and some people were bragging, oh, we'll do well, the Labour Party itself will wither on the vine, they said. And we said at the time that uh, you go down this road, there's out to left road, and it'll be a detour over a cliff. And in the so-called debate that was take, took place, the most bureaucratic and, and uh, uh, well, de degenerate methods were used against the opposition to crush us. They couldn't answer our ideas, they just wanted to crush us and expel us, which they did in the end. I just reflected a, a, a degeneration that had taken place in the leadership of the organization. And, all, and uh, the MPs were sacrificed because of Walton, of course. And when we were expelled and they went on an independent party, they said, oh, they were bragging, they would get, you know, tens of thousands would, would, would join them and so on. And it turned out to be a complete damp squib. And the possibilities that they just threw it away completely in an ultra left fashion. So they destroyed uh, Militant. We had to start again from scratch, but based on real on the real genuine traditions of the tendency, and the success is in front of us today. My, my, my time is now, I think, uh, coming to an end. So um, I've tried my best and it's uh, an impossible task. But as they say, read the book and uh, watch the film. Thank you. We shall not grow just like a tree. Let's stand in my